out at the Resnick Farm in Moore County, Texas on June the 29th, 2017. This is a, the maiden voyage of our first uh, unmanned aerial system or drone. Um, Texas A&M AgriLife Research uh, is moving uh, decisively into drone-based research for remote sensing. We're working here with a quadcopter, which is really good for low elevation studies, imaging. Uh, those of you who have much larger plots to, uh, much larger fields to fly with a lot more acreage, you'll probably want to use some sort of fixed wing drone, but this one suits us because it's very easy, easy to control uh, at low altitude and covers small plots low and slow. It's not just about collecting images, it's about extracting what I call actionable intelligence. What can we learn from the images that a farmer can use to make adjustments in the field? So we'll be looking at things like our wheat breeding program, for example, and trying to estimate yields early in the season so that we can invest less labor in those varieties that aren't promising very well and invest more labor in those that are. We'll also be looking for signatures of disease, like wheat streak mosaic virus, for example. Uh, thirdly, we'll be able to track irrigation status. What is the soil moisture like? And is it showing up in the health of the plants? And then finally, we'll uh, eventually move our uh, drone program into livestock-based and range cattle and feedlot-based research, looking for the health status of the animals, uh, even greenhouse gas emissions potential on a feedlot surface. Texas A&M AgriLife Research is moving decisively into the drone-based research. And uh, we invite you to contact us if you have uh, any questions about what we're doing and why.